Okay, so the other day I was having some problems uh, bringing in or reading my environment variables in my batch profile using uh, Visual Studio Code uh, and actually Python within Visual Studio Code. So uh, first of all, uh, you may be wondering what's an environment variable? Uh, an environment variable is a variable that you set in your bash RC or bash profile. Um, so if I want to take a look at mine, I'll use nano to open up my bash RC and that is located in your home directory. So again, you might have a bash profile or bash RC. Um, and so I type nano till the bash RC just to view it. And here I set an example variable, right? So uh, if I can basically at any time call var1 and I would uh, get like this string message right here, message in mvar or message in environment variable. That's just a generic text. It can be uh, numeric, it can be, you know, basically whatever you want. So this command here uh, will make this variable available or should make it available to my uh, programming language or you know whatever I'm doing. So um, so I have that set there. Now if I were to you know call that on my terminal, uh, I'll just say echo var one since this is the name of my environment variable. Um, it'll display what I had saved as a string. Uh, and so that is what I want to make available in my program. So <clears throat> you can be very nifty with this by storing your passwords and username if you wanted to. Say you're coding something really quick and just want a convenient place to, uh, to store it in. That is one way. Um, and so anyways, that's, uh, that's what I want to make use of, right? Um, so now if I go back to my Visual Studio environment, uh, when I'm at, whenever I'm running, um, uh, line of code to bring in that environment variable, which is the var1 um, I execute that and basically it's saying none. So like nothing is there. It's not picking anything up It says var1 did not exist uh, However, if I you know go to my terminal and decide to work on Python I can import it um, I can uh, basically use the same code as I just did right now os.getm for get environment variable and var1 is the environment variable name so print that and it gives me the string that we saw earlier. So that was very peculiar. So it is an issue within uh, Visual Studio Code. So what I've done or what I've noticed rather is actually if I start Visual Studio Code from my terminal and I actually found this answer in Stack Overflow and I wish I could find that answer again because it was buried in the comments. So uh, I'd like to give credit to the person that, that called this out. But if I start uh, Visual Studio Code from my terminal uh, by typing code in my case um, what happens now it's you know I guess something buggy but it'll essentially uh, be able to read those environment variables so now if I run that my environmental load just take a minute here So as I was saying, if you uh, run that after starting it in your terminal, uh, then you get message, uh, well, this message in mvar, which is what I have saved in my environment variable. So again, if you find yourself um, not being able to read your environment variables in Visual Studio Code, try starting it in your terminal and that should do the trick. Thanks for watching.